FedEx earnings just out and the stock is down seven and a quarter percent after its second quarter number. Second quarter adjusted earnings per share, three dollars and ninety nine cents. That is short of the four nineteen that analysts had been projecting. It looks like revenue was also below what analysts had been estimating, but really closer to in line, you could argue there. Also, we have to talk about the forecast here because there FedEx says that it is going to see a little bit of a decrease in revenue, a low single digit percentage decline decline in revenue year over year had been looking for flat revenue on a year over year basis. That's for fiscal 2024. Again, it's reporting its fiscal second quarter today. Um, so those disappointments are what is pushing that FedEx uh, stock down here um, as we look through the release and, and try to suss out what exactly is going on. Yeah, and it was, I mean, to take a step back to, you know, yeah. this stock had been very strong performer this year. I mean, it was up more than 60% heading into this earnings print. And a big a big theme for FedEx has really been, you know, Julie, the execution, this focus on efficiency, the kind of cost and productivity improvement plans they have in place. Um, and also though, I am interested in their guidance, the commentary they give on there. I would have thought, you know, the consumer has proven resilient. So I would have, I would have thought maybe they would have relatively broadly more positive things to say about the outlook and the holiday quarter. So I think it'll be interesting to hear about what they have to say about that on the call. You can hear the CEO here in a statement saying, uh, talking about two consecutive quarters of operating income growth, margin expansion, and he talks about that happening even with lower revenue. Yeah talks about the progress they're making, again, on their transformation as they navigate what he's calling here an uncertain demand environment. So more color and insight about what he means by that and going ahead will be critical. Yeah, and um, the CFO's comments, John Dietrich, kind of echoing that, talking about demand continued to pressure the top line, but he says, we're pleased with our ability to deliver strong operating leverage and improved profitability. So this seems to be the message that FedEx is trying to send in the wake of these numbers that, in the face of some declining demand dynamics, they're trying to pull on the levers that they can right. to keep the business more profitable. But investors not buying that um, argument, at least not at the first blush, to your point, what they say on the call is going to be important here, more color that they offer, and we'll see if there's any alleviation of uh, the, the shares falling here. Yeah, I mean, I also, you know, I think it'll be interesting to hear on the call, what, given that environment, what kind of pricing power do they mm -hmm. think they have? Mm -hmm. Not just now, but looking ahead. Also, remember Yellow going bankrupt? I'd be curious to see whether, you know, have they been able to continue kind of meaningfully capitalize on that as well? That's another interesting thread. Yeah, definitely. It looks like also the ground unit did have some improvements on volume and price per package, to your point. Um, about pricing power. So we'll continue to dig into that and we will be listening to that call.